Hello and welcome. Yes, today is a review of episode five of World's End Tarum. Now, later in the show, we're going to do um, My Dress Up Darling, because I know I can't wait for that air show episode to air to talk about My Dress Up Darling, because Gojo, Gojo to me is the best MC slash protagonist we have this year. Aside from that, World's End Tarum episode five has has some some meaningful moments in this one. A, a new character slash antagonist appeared. Chloe, the blonde hair, uh, half Japanese American girl. I mean, uh, American girl who transferred to Japan. Okay. You got fan service, which is a hot spring, which hot springs lead to fan service. Two new characters and an old lady who is smart enough to get inside this guy's head. Without without that, without being said, let's get right to the review of the World's End Harem episode five. Now, episode five called the first victim. So the first victim is all about the first person who died from the MK virus. Our beloved MC, number two. Our beloved MC, you know, he's a... I know people don't like him because he's not doing his job to mate with all the other women. I get that. I get that. But guys, I understand what he's doing. I mean, he's doing this for the right cause. Sure, he wants to, he doesn't want to mate them, but he wants to pick the woman that respects him for who he is. Not like, it's not like, okay, he come out of the a cryogenic sleep, a state, now he got to fuck every woman. No, that's not how he wants to go like that. He's looking for the cure for the MK virus to make sure, and also to make sure where the world population comes back up and there's more men coming around, they don't have to die from the MK virus. Okay. As for Mira, on the other hand, she gets fired because... All she had to do was to let our beloved MC get laid and is and, and still couldn't get the job done. And because of that, he gets because of that she gets fired. Aside from that, he got two new ladies in his harem. Just think about it. You got one girl with the red hair who's who's literally gorgeous. I mean, she I mean she wears a suit and panties. That's it. She all she that's all she wears. Bra and panties and a white suit. That's it. That is it. That is it. Smart as she is, she's really she's really hot. I mean, she bump into her. I mean, she bump into him. One of those classic harem animes where the girl bumps into him, so it's like that. And then you got this one girl, the news. Then you got this other black hair scientist who's, I will say, a sundere bitch. I mean, yeah, she I, she be hold be held a sundere bitch. And and are we wrong about sundere's? Not really, because in every harem anime, every anime, every harem anime. You have to realize how each girl group has. A Sundere, Kundere, the shy one. I mean, I'm sorry. You, you got one of the, the, the child. You got one of the say, oh, need child, all that kind of thing. You have those, those type of different types of girls in your harem. Everybody goes through that. High school DxD went that. Shimano Testament went, went. Shimano Testament went like that. Sekire went like that. To Love Rue. Every show that has to do with harems, like the world ends harem, <laughs> did that kind of thing. So, to investigate the research, they decided to go to the city where the first victim of an old married couple, the old man died from the NK virus. But before they get to that, well, the hot springs. Now, we all know when it comes to hot springs, right? What does hot springs mean? A hot spring... Plus harem equals da, 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 fan service. Now I I did in my video I'm defending fan service and I got this fan service does not bother me at all. Because it's a harem anime. Of course we're gonna get fan service. It's not like it's not like we we're like it's like what you what you think was gonna happen. So we got a harem anime. I mean so we got this hot spring episode and it is him and surrounded by the end the clone look like Miron. The, the little agent girl, the security girl, the hot, sexy nurse, and two two other scientists with you. That's five right there in your arsenal. And all he like, and all they do is like let him wash his back one at a time. Now I know people are gonna say, "Oh, he's washing the little girl's back, all that stuff." Okay, 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 okay. I know people are gonna react to that because I already seen a lot of memes from yesterday. Everyone is now he's washing everyone's back. And the nurse, the nurse went too far. I mean, I didn't say she's a sexy nurse. She went too far. She went from like, from the back 
to down here and then touching down there the other side. He flipped out. I mean, who that's he pulled off one of those harem classics where the guy gets gets like close to where that part is and runs out the door. So as he goes now, he goes to the sauna. I've never been to a sauna before, but I know one thing. If there's one thing I learned about a sauna, if you go inside a sauna for for a duration of time, the heat will knock you out, pass out, and you be dead. Well, overheat, but overstroke, but still. So as he's in the hot, as he's in the sauna, here comes Chloe, the new antagonist protagonist. Now I know you're asking yourself, why well, I haven't seen her before. Well, she's in the opening and the ending. And if you look closely at the opening and ending of the show, you see that tattoo that's on her breast. You see it right there. And Chloe, you know, given the antagonist role that she is, and, she, and I got to say, if you read the manga, it gets a little darker. Despite what it is, it's, it's really good. Anyway, she is the one. She knows him really well, Reto. And the fact that, and the fact that she, um, she's like, I want you to mate with me. If you don't, I'm gonna scream and tell everybody that you're in here. So she playing that 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 troll really well to see who could stay in the sauna the most. Passing now, asking questions, talking, you know, the you know, leave it to Rachel for perhaps true, true power. You know, leave it to him to have that willpower to stay in the sauna for too long. I also like the part that after that whole match, you know, she tried to put he she she wanted to put water, she wanted some water, and that didn't work, and then uh as soon as he grabbed the water and tried to put it in her mouth, he freaks. All the girls saw it, ran in at the right time and freaked out. See, like I said, it's one of those harem classics where the guy trying to save the girl and then the group of them come in and see that, they, oh, it's a misunderstanding, and they just walk away. Now, they go to the hospital and meet the, late, meet the old lady <clears throat> whose husband died from the MK virus, the first victim. You know, it, I like the old lady in this show. I really do. I like the old lady in this episode. I really do. She is straight not... She is straight up funny. She is straight up funny with the show. I'm like, damn. But here's the funny things. First off, I, uh, she ain't wrong. She ain't wrong. She's like, she's like, excuse me. How, you got all these women you want to mate. And you had this opportunity. They're like rabbits. They horny as fuck. You can bang these girls. You can bang them. Why you ain't doing it? And straight off the question, she asks, are you gay? I'm like, <laughs> this old lady is funny as hell when she said that. <laughs> when she said that, I was laughing like, damn. Just not even, and the thing is, she wasn't even embarrassed to say. She just said it off, off, the, off the deep end. And, and then, and the other question, she's like, okay, you can screw me. I'm kidding. You know, I'm like. Again, straight up. She's like, okay, you can screw me. Huh? I'm kidding. You know, the old lady is funny as hell. <laughs> she is funny. Really funny guy. Really funny woman, you know. But, you know, they did show us her talking to Mira at the time before the MK virus happened. And, I mean, Arisa at the, before the virus coming. And she she did brought it up. I only wish she, I only wish the old lady told him about her. You know what I mean? That would have been the... I understand the duration of the story would have been going forward because if, if she if she would have told him that she spoke to her before he, before the MK, before he even showed up, it would have been like the direction of the story will rush. It will progress. He probably won't even bang no one else. That's, that's what I see. That's what I see. But he's, you know, his reasons was spot on, like, how he's selfish, how he's an honest guy, you know, he doesn't want this kind of opportunity, and I get that, I get that, some of y'all don't, some of y'all wish I had the opportunity, but in retrospect, he doesn't, he doesn't want to be, like, like, he's very passionate, you know what I mean, like, he's, he loves all these women, he respects them, he just, he just don't want to do it for the project, you know what I mean? He don't want to bang every woman for f just just for fun. He don't want to bang any woman just for the project. No, he's doing this for mankind. He's doing this to save, to make sure all the women are happy. Uh, you know, humanity is safe. You know. And the thing about this episode is that we it's more to 
this stuff, you know what I mean? The bioterrorism, anti, I mean, groups, purge, you know, all those things that makes the world hands harem fascinating. And if you look at those details behind it, besides just the fan service, there's more to something. It's, it's, it's more, there's, there's more to this than ever. So anyway, as the old lady sleeping, someone about someone killed her and she's in us. And then the next day she's, uh, she's breathing heavily. And it brought up the death flag saying, oh, here's a photo of my husband and of uh, me and my husband. Have him cherish it. I'm like, this is a death flag. It, it's, it's already happening. It's already happening. And that's how it ended with a cliffhanger. But like I said, this episode was really good. And it was a very good episode. It has that pace in the, the, of the direction of where or where it leads to. Now, from an from a manga perspective, manga to manga, it's it's there. Like the pace of it is really there. From the anime standpoint, it's just it's kind of rushing a bit. It's kind of rushing towards like I, it's kind of they take all the chapters from previous volumes and they put it in this one. So it's, again, it's rushing little by little. But like I said, this was a very good episode, and we had. A fan service, uh, once again, this world ends him. There's no denying it. I mean, we got we got a hot spring episode, which led to fan service as well. And we got and we got and we got to meet the new antagonist. By the way, the antagonist is uh, Chloe, so she's gonna play an important role than you think. So I look forward for next week's episode, the world ends harem. We're almost done with this episode, given the fact that it's eleven episodes. Given the fact that it's eleven episodes. So let's see where he does to cure this old lady and more and more to come in the next episode of the World's Ends Harem.